So in terms of the controller that I'm using on this bike, we're going with the BAT2000 that's been race tuned by Alan Hu at Electric Race Technologies. Now, when it came in, it's actually a little bit chunkier than I was imagining. I mean, I could have taken some measurements, but anyway, that's another issue. But it is a little bit bigger than I was thinking. So I've been trying to work out how I'm going to best mount this onto the down tube of the bike and make it neat and try and waterproof it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize these three bolts here and they're M4 bolts. So I can use any old M4 bolt, like a long M4 bolt. So I'm going to replace those and I'm going to build a plate that goes at this end and a plate that goes at the bottom end. And then I'm going to have those clamp here and here onto the tube and that should hold it tight. And in terms of waterproofing, what I think I'm going to do is to make um, kind of a gasket that clamps around the sides and the back and the top here. And then a waterproof kind of sock almost or a flexible material. And then take all of the cabling through this sock over the back here and hook everything up on the back side of the motor. And that will create a drip point and it will mean that everything here is watertight without actually having to make some sort of more rigid framework. So I'm going to sketch that out and get it drawn up so people can see what it's going to look like. Um, and that'll take a little bit to get that all together. Um, if anybody has any other suggestions for how to get this waterproofed and on there, um, I'd love to hear them. Um, this is kind of a, almost an influx kind of way of doing things. It's not set in stone, so I'm definitely open to different ideas on it, but that's, that's as far as I've got so far in terms of getting this onto the bike there. So with the back 2000, you also have to run an ignition circuit. Um, so I was thinking about using one of those ones with, with the keys. Um, and then I got given this cool switch. So I thought I would do something with that instead. So this is just a, a box that's going to clamp up here on the stem or the top tube room. And then it opens and then the on and off is going to be by this. Yeah. It's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> There you go. So it's going to buy, be by this switch, which has quite a nice uh, solid click on and off. I know, I thought it might be a, a little bit different to do it that way. But, uh, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun designing that part. Um, and yeah, it's just going to sit right here. And that's going to switch the, the bike on and off. And then that's going to make the, uh, the NXT display switch on, which is going to be mounted here. So the display itself is still being worked on, still working on the case a bit. Um, we've got a bit of logoing on the top there. And I've also seen um, a version of it printed in aluminum um, from a CNC machine, which looks absolutely awesome. So I think that's probably going to be a sort of a premium version of the display at some point. But yeah, it's going to look pretty neat there in the middle. So really, that's about um, as far as I've got with the with the bike at the moment. Uh, we've got like absolute ton of snow outside at the moment. So I'm not gonna be doing uh, much riding on this one anyway, even if I did get it built super quick. Um, but I wanna take my time on it and I wanna get this uh, back 2000 nicely waterproofed. Um, Cause it's definitely gonna be a challenge to get that all in, but that's what I enjoy the most actually about doing these bikes is, is designing the, the, the unique parts. And hopefully, um, once it's done, it will be a part that can be replicated um, and help other people that, that want to use this control unit as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep working away on this and I'll do another update once I get the time to do it. Cheers.